He's very good with numbers. I think his, his social skills have held him back. Such a sweet man, though. Arthur has a good heart. He never complains, unlike me. Sometimes I don't give him enough credit. He tried to tell me about this thing he's working on, this... The Mentaculous. He says it's a, uh, a probability map of the universe. Does he go out socially at all? He tries. He's been going to the singles mixers at Hillel House. Well, I should talk. I'm not doing any better. How is Judith? Fine. She's fine. Sometimes these things just aren't meant to be. And it can take a while before you feel what was always there. For better or worse. I never felt it. It was a bolt from the blue. What does that mean? Everything that I thought was one way turns out to be another. Then it's an opportunity to learn how things really are. I don't mean to sound glib. It's not always easy deciphering what God is trying to tell you. But it's not something you have to figure out all by yourself. We're Jews. We've got that well of tradition to draw on to help us understand. When we're puzzled, we have all the stories that have been handed down from people who had the same problems. Have you talked to Rabbi Nachner? Why not see him? What's the rabbi gonna tell me? If I knew, I'd be the rabbi. Oh, the Arab here is magnificent. A telegram. If someone could bottle this air, they'd make a million dollars. Hello, Larry. Good to see you. Oh, Rabbi Scott. So I thought I was going to see Rabbi Nachner. He was called away on an Etzmol Neem. Ruth Brin's mother is in the hospital, and she isn't doing well. Rabbi Nachner asked me to cover for him. Come on in. And... She wants a get. A what? She wants oh, a... Oh, a get. Uh-huh. Sure. I feel like the carpet's been yanked out from under me. I, I don't know which end is up. I'm not even sure how to react. I'm too confused. What reasons did she give for the rupture? She didn't give reasons, just that... Oh, you know, things haven't been going well. And is that true? I guess. I don't know. She's usually right about these things. I was hoping that Rabbi Nachner could... That he would... he would yes? Well, with the benefit of his life experience. No offense. No, of course not. I am the junior rabbi. And it's true, the point of view of somebody who's older and perhaps had similar problems might be more valid. And you should see the senior rabbi as well, by all means, or even Marshak, if you can get in. He's quite busy, but maybe... Can I share something with you? Because I too have had the feeling of losing track of Hashem, which is the problem here. I too have forgotten how to see him in the world, and when that happens, you think, well, if I can't see him, he isn't there. He's gone. But that's not the case. You just need to remember how to see him. Am I right? I mean, the parking lot here. Not much to see. Huh? But if you imagine yourself a visitor, somebody who isn't familiar with these autos and such, somebody still with the capacity for wonder, someone with a fresh perspective. That's what it is, Larry, um, because with the right perspective, you can see Hashem, you know, reaching into the world. He is in the world, not just in shul, 
It sounds to me like you're looking at the world, looking at your wife through tired eyes. It sounds like she's become a sort of thing, a problem, a thing. She is seeing Cy Abelman. Oh. They're planning. That's why they want the get. Oh, um, sorry. It was his idea. Well, they do need a uh, get to remarry in the faith. But uh, this is life. You have to see these things as expressions of God's will. You don't have to like it, of course. The boss isn't always right, but he's always the boss. <laughs> That's right. Things aren't so bad. Look at the parking lot, Larry. Just look at that parking lot. <laughs>